What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, Barcelona have announced a brand new partnership extension with Konami that will follow into eFootball 2024 and beyond. So a lot of people were talking about it and they were saying, oh, you know that they've lost the license, they're moving to EA. And I was kind of saying for months and months and months, listen, let's wait and see what the official line is going to be. And now we've got it. So Barcelona actually just tweeted out there a couple of minutes ago, and they have said that they've continued to agree to and extended their partnership. Um, they'll be their global partner and official video gaming partner. When we click into this, it says that Barca and Konami have extended their partnership for multiple seasons. Multiple seasons. This means that the Japanese video gaming and entertainment multinational will continue being Barcelona's global partner and official video gaming partner. The two brands intend to drive the deal forward to take the connection between the football and digital entertainment world to the next level. They talk about having access to the senior squad among a number of actions to gather material for the production of its successful games. And will also be able to build synergies with the Barca legends who will be serving as first-class ambassadors for the deal. So there's a lot to get through here, right? But we will just read a bit of it, and then we'll go, and I'll give you my thoughts on it, okay? The understanding includes brand visibility in the ground on match days, in the museum, and in the club's media. It will also be present on the club's social, the club's social networks, including content promoting the eFootball series, running campaigns, draws, address as the coolers at the coolers community. By renewing the contract, Barcelona is reaffirming its long-term commitment to Konami, which began in 2016, but is now even further with the consolidation of a partnership with a leading name in the game community and in the world of digital entertainment. Then they talk about a statement from the vice president of the Barcelona marketing area and a statement from Konami's European president, Marita. We are very pleased to renew our partnership with Konami, a company that has over the years been demonstrated to commit to Barcelona, has always demonstrated its commitment to Barcelona. It is the benchmark in the video game sector will help us to forge new synergies. And also that is the very same thing that's kind of said here. We're proud to have him as part of the eFootball series now and for the next few years. Years! Thanks to the renewal. To have secured a long-term future that will include a multitude of commercial image and esports rights and activations is fantastic for Konami and for the eFootball series as we keep evolving our product to bring the best user experience. So then the rest of it is just about Konami, right? So the thing that kind of the thing the thing about it, right, is um I, I've been saying this for a while, lads, right? For anyone that's been willing to listen, okay? Anytime we stream, okay. Like, you don't listen to rumors and stuff until it officially comes out. I have been told multiple, multiple times, oh, what are you going to do? Barcelona is gone. You know, they're going to lose this license. They're going to lose that license. They're going to lose this. They're going to lose that. And I've said it for weeks, and I've been saying it recently as well. Anyone that's come in and said, oh, I've seen this here. I've seen that there. Listen, man, there is there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that doesn't really come to fruition until it's announced. Do you know what I mean? So leaks, anything like that, there's no point even talking about them. All they are is getting clicks, generating clicks um, to actually try and find out what's going on. And sometimes, you know, that's exciting, you know, that you're like, oh, will this happen? Won't this happen? But a lot of the time it seems in eFootball that it seems to be negative stuff, right? So this is something to celebrate, I think. Um, if you are an eFootball fan, obviously we can talk about the game and all about this. This video is just about that. Now, I also want to talk about the, um, the maintenance. It is extended, so it will be for another few minutes by the time this video goes up. But more importantly, I want to talk about this large scale maintenance here. So Konami talk about and they have finally kind of discussed when the large scale maintenance is going to start. Now, a lot of people have asked me already on Twitter um, when I woke up earlier and they were talking about it and when is it going to come. So basically what's going to happen from what I can see is they're going to be starting the large scale maintenance. It's scheduled to commence on the 4th of September, right? So that is going to be uh, the 4th of September is a Monday, okay? I reckon what they'll do then is they will probably either try aim for that Thursday, which will be the 7th or the 8th, depending on your time zone, they will aim for that Thursday, or else they'll probably aim for in around that time. I don't think we're going to have a week of maintenance with the way that they talk about it there, but they also do say that, look, this is the large-scale maintenance that is going to undergo the in-game assets and other data carryover process from eFootball 2023 to eFootball 2024. So it is a bit later than it was last year with eFootball 22 to eFootball 2023, okay? So... Yeah, what it means is that you're going to be able to download, play the game up until the 4th, right? Uh, on, say, Sunday. Once the time hits and once the maintenance hits um, on that Monday, right? Again, depending on your time zone, you are going to be just, like, the servers are going to go down, right? Then there's going to be a large-scale maintenance then from the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, 
the 7 to 8, whenever it's going to be. I reckon it's probably going to try aim for that Thursday to get that Thursday because every update that has come in eFootball for the last three years, um, and even with PES 2021 and PES 20, the updates a lot of the time used to come around the Thursday mark. It just seems to be a good day for releasing stuff and updating the PSN and Xbox stores um, with patches and stuff for not just eFootball but for other games as well. So I reckon they will try and key that in they also talk about the ending time of the large scale maintenance, which will be announced at a later date. Okay, so this is the purpose of the large scale maintenance. And I know people will ask, even though I answer, this is basically what they're going to be doing. So they're going to be transferring over. They're you know, going to have the new transfers, the new kits for the kits that they have licensed, the new promotion and relegation. So a team that came up from the, the Skybet up into the Premier League um, or the English League One, same with La Liga, same with like League One. Any license that they have or anything that they're going to add to the game will be starting the process on the 4th of September, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, lads. I'll keep it short and sweet, right? And then it will just depend. I hope that the maintenance doesn't last too long. The fact that it's starting on a Monday, I reckon they will probably try aim for the Thursday. So then you'd have your new club packs, you'd have your new club uh, agents, your new login bonuses, all the transfers updated, the promotions updated, the relegations updated, the leagues updated, the teams updated, and then anything that has a, a, a license, such as this Konami um, one, where we got an, a, a brand new image there, anyone that has a license with it, they will have you know their face scans, hopefully, they will have their new kits, we already have some, some of that stuff in, but also on top of that, any gameplay changes or anything like that, I reckon will come on that date, but look, we will be live streaming later today. Um, it is the first bit of official, 100% official news from eFootball 2024. So now we have a release window and we also have Barcelona coming back on a multiple year deal. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me know what you think, right? I mean, I know it's it's kind of at this time of the year um, where, you know, you start to get in a lot of, um, a lot of kind of, uh rumors and you know like a lot of people like to talk about you know what, what's going to come what's not going to come i think the fact here as well that's very kind of exciting from a from a, a point of view that if you do play football and we will get into this later if you do play football and you do play the dream team and you're enjoying the new mode you're enjoying the new mode even with all its flaws and even with like wanting the gameplay to be improved um it says to be able to build synergies with barca legends who will be serving as first class ambassadors for the deal maybe we will start to see more Barcelona legends come in and also play a bigger role in Dream Team and in the actual, uh, you know, the card part of the game. But we'll get into that later and what it could mean, right? So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.